Hi, what's going on? My name is Anand and in this video, I'm going to show you how to send bulk emails using Gmail without landing in spam. The most important part is without landing in spam because there are a bunch of people who will show you the process to send bulk emails, but they will not tell you how to not land in the spam. Most of the popular methods discussed on the popular YouTube videos for this topic will end up landing your email in the spam inbox. One of the strategy that most people recommend is put all the emails inside BCC, which you should strictly avoid if you don't want to land in the spam. And another one is using a tool called mail merge to send bulk emails, which will also end up landing your emails into the spam. So in this video, we will discuss about why to use Gmail for sending bulk email and when exactly you should use Gmail to send bulk emails. What are the cases where you should avoid using Gmail and what are the alternatives for that? And then how to send bulk emails using Gmail the right way, right? So the first thing is why and when to use Gmail for sending bulk emails. So one of the most popular scenario is when you're trying to do a cold email outreach. If you're trying to send emails using your Gmail account, then you will have a higher deliverability as compared to any other email provider because it's a product of Google, it's Gmail. And if you're sending emails using Gmail, there is a high chance your email will end up landing in the primary inbox if you're doing it the right way. Most of the agency owners, they use Gmail account to send bulk emails to promote their agency services. And if you know how to do it the right way, you can land in the primary inbox and you can get a lot of traction with that strategy. So this is something I'm going to discuss in this video today. Another reason why you want to use Gmail to send bulk email is that you want to promote your services, which I would not recommend if you are a brand because you want to use your own domain. And let me just tell you this to send email using your own domain. It will take only $15 per year to purchase your own domain. If you don't have that, if you have it, then good for you. And then it will take only $1 to send 10,000 email with the best deliverability in the market. I've already covered a video about Amazon SES, which allows you to send 10,000 emails for just $1. Imagine MailChimp for the same thing is charging $200 for sending emails to 10,000 people. MailChimp is charging you $200. Whereas if you use Amazon SES, you can send 10,000 emails for just $1. And I've covered all the best practices, how to set up Amazon SES as a non-technical person. If you're not a, no, if you're not a technical person and you're scared of how to set up Amazon SES, this is the perfect video for you, which you should check out in the description below. But if you are one of the person who want to send a cold email using Gmail, this is the right place for you because I'm going to show you how to send bulk emails using Gmail the right way without landing in spam. And for that, we will be using a platform called sendmaze.io. You can check out the pricing of sendmaze.io in the description below. It is 100x affordable than any other email marketing platform out there. Now, what we are going to do uh, to send bulk email is that we will get multiple Gmail accounts. Number one, we will get multiple Gmail accounts. We will connect all the Gmail accounts with sendmails.io and then we will be sending all the emails in batches with proper gaps and human like pauses. This is the right strategy to send bulk emails to avoid landing in the spam. Most of the guys, they recommend sending bulk emails using the mail merge Excel extension, which will send all the email in just one shot and that will make your emails land in the spam inbox. So what you want to do is have proper gap. This is the secret rule. Having human like gaps can ensure that your emails are not landing in spam. So the very first thing we'll have to do is we'll have to connect multiple Gmail accounts with a platform like SendMails and SendMails allows you to connect unlimited SMTP servers, unlimited Gmail accounts. 
So we'll be connecting multiple Gmail accounts with sendmails.io and using sendmails, we'll be sending uh, bulk emails using our Gmail accounts, right? So let us see how do you connect your Gmail account with sendmails.io and then we'll see how to launch your very first campaign using sendmails.io. But before we begin, let me just tell you this. When you're sending bulk emails with Gmail, you cannot send a lot of email. That is the rule. If you're trying to send thousands of email in just a day, all your emails are going to land in spam. And what we are going to do here is we are going to ensure that you are having those human like pauses when you are sending emails. So to scale your bulk emails, we will rather get multiple Gmail accounts to send bulk emails. Right. So first of all, how do you connect your Gmail account with sendmails.io is what we are going to see. So now head over to your Gmail and the very first thing you will have to do is to create your app password. So how do we create a uh, app password for that? You can head over to my account.google.com. I'll put the link of this in the description below so that you can easily find this link and you ensure that you are logged in with the right email, which is this one. This is a test email that I'm using just to demonstrate you and you ensure that you're logged in with the right email and then head over to the security tab. Now scroll down a little bit and turn on your two step verification because you want to create an app password. In order to create an app password, you will first have to turn on your two step verification. As you can see, I've already turned it on. And in order to turn it on, it will ask you for your phone number. Once you put your phone number, it will send you a OTP. You need to confirm that with your OTP and it takes only one minute to enable your two step verification. After you have enabled your two step verification, you can head over to app password. As you can see, I have already created one of the app password here, but I'm going to create a new app password from scratch. So I'm going to choose other custom name and I'm going to put sendmails.io because I'm going to be connecting this uh, email account with sendmails.io. So this is my app password. Now, in order to connect this Gmail account with sendmails.io, head over to sending and open sending servers. And this is where you, you can see I've already connected a bunch of sending servers like Gmail, Mailgun, Sparkpost, uh, Amazon SES, a bunch of, you know, SMTP servers is what I've connected here. But right now we are connecting Gmail account. So for that, we are going to choose SMTP, click over here and then we need to fill these values which is very simple for host name you just need to put smtp.gmail.com i'll put all the details in the description below so for host name you will be putting smtp.gmail.com for the username you will be putting the right exact email which i can copy and paste from here so for the username we'll be putting this for the password we will be putting the app password going back i'll be pasting over here for SMTP port, you will be putting port 65. Again, I'll put it down in the description below and SMTP encryption method is going to be SSL. That's it. Click on save and you have connected your Gmail account with Senway.io. Now, if you want to test this, you can send a test email to yourself just to check whether everything is working for you or not. But as of now, I'm just going to close this and here I'm going to name this. So it is Sarah's email and the email account that we'll be using is this one. So we'll be putting this email over here. Now here we need to set the speed limit. We only want to send one email per hour, which means in a day we'll only be sending 24 emails. Gmail gives you a daily sending limit of 100 emails a day. But if you're trying to send cold emails, what I would suggest is do not exceed beyond sending one email per hour. If you try to go beyond that, your emails will start landing in the spam. So if you want to scale your bulk email outreach, then get multiple Gmail accounts and connect all of them with sendmails.io. So now here I'm going to choose custom and then I'm going to choose one email per hour. This is the most important thing. If you're trying to send a lot of email, then you will end up landing in the spam inbox. So we need to have a human like pauses and it should be decent enough. So one email per hour is something which is very decent and then you can just click on save. That's it. So as you can see, I've just connected my email account over here and just like this, I can go back to sending servers 
and connect as many email account as I want because this is the beauty of sendmails.io it allows you to connect unlimited SMTP servers and we can use all of them to send emails we can connect all our sending servers to uh, send emails so after you have connected all your sending servers you can go to list and create a new list so in order to create a list you can click on create list and create a new list from scratch so I'm just gonna uh, click on create list here you can see you will be putting all your company's information you will be putting you know everything over here and here you can also choose which sending server you want to use to send email so I want to use this and this so to send emails to this list I'll be using these two gmail accounts right so that I can choose it from here I can choose what also sending servers I want to use to send emails now here I can put my name so if I if I'm using uh, this person over here to send email I'm going to use this one and the email account is going to be you know the one which I've chosen from here but do not worry if you are uh, putting multiple gmail accounts then uh, you know it is going to uh, take your email from the sending server that you have connected just uh, for now we can we can just put a basic one over here and uh, default from name is going to be Sarah's subject line here there do not worry about these things but because this can be changed so I'm just gonna put uh, something random over here 0000, 000 and that's it I will just click on save right so I've just created my list and I will be importing all my contacts over here right so in order to do that I'll head over to Sara and then here I can import all my contacts but before that let me just show you this is where you can manage your list field so right now I have just uh, three columns email first name last name if I want to add more column to personalize my emails then I can definitely do that from here for example if I also want to target the industry I want to uh, personalize my email by industry then I can add a new column called industry and in my spreadsheet I need to have industry as well like a column so I'll head over to spreadsheet I'll open a new spreadsheet over here and I'll name this as Sara and I need to have these list field so that I can import all the contacts over here so here I'll be putting email then I will be putting the industry so you just need to ensure that these columns are mapped with the right values so the right values are going to be for example if I'm taking this email from here I can just copy it from here and I will paste it over here industry let's put email marketing right that's it so here you can add as many records you want and once you are satisfied with that download it as a csv file like here you can see i've just downloaded my csv file i can go back head over to import drag and drop it over here and click on import and this is going to import all the contact inside sendmails.io list the list that i've just created over here before sending emails to these guys i will first do a quick email verification so i'll be using an email verification server just to quickly verify whether this email is valid or not which is very important to avoid any bounces or you know prevent yourself to land in the spam inbox so as you can see i have quickly verified and you know all the emails are deliverable in basically we have just added one email if I go to view all I can just quickly show you I've just added one email we are going to send email to just one person but here I can add as many subscribers as we want so either we can you know add all these subscribers manually or I can do that in bulk using the import option over here right so I'm just going to add one more email to show you that how it works so uh, industry I'll be putting XYZ and email I'll be putting on at the rate gmail.com which is not a valid email but as of now I, I'm just wanna uh, I'm just gonna create two subscribers over here so that we have at least you know few contacts to send emails to so all right we have just created our list and for this list we have chosen specific servers this these servers are these two SMTP servers that we have connected with sendmails.io 
now is the time to head over to your campaign and this is where I will create my new campaign so I'm gonna choose regular and click on choose the list which is Sarah's uh, you know list over here and here you can name it whatever you want right so here it is giving you an option to choose your from email but the good part is we can use the sending servers default value so we don't have to put one email because we are going to be using multiple email accounts to send email and for that we can choose use sending servers default value so even if you have connected bulk email accounts we can uh, you know put the sending email servers default value over here and then for reply i'm just going to put one email over here because even if i'm sending emails to emails from you know bulk emails i want to get all the replies in one inbox so for that i'm just going to put the reply to email as this one the one which is going to be uh, which i'm going to consider as the master email now one thing which you need to uh, note over here you can personalize your subject line as well but as of now i'm not going to personalize the subject line i'm just going to keep it as it is hey there but you can definitely personalize this and i'm just going to name it as bulk gmail campaign sara and you need to turn off the trackings for open and click if you are sending emails using gmail otherwise it is it is going to look like a robot sending all the emails right but with gmail most of the time people send emails from their inbox so in order to replicate that uh, you need to turn off the tracking for open and click this is very important if you keep it on then you know there is high chances after uh, you know few days your emails will start landing in spam so i'm gonna off everything from here i do not want to use it but if you're using amazon SES or any other servers you can definitely turn it on and you know keep a track of everything but for sending cold emails do not do it yeah if you have an email marketing list you want to send email to those guys then you can turn it on you can keep a track of all but if you are sending cold emails then do not turn it on keep it off and then just head over to save and next and here you can create a new template so i'm just going to take the basic one email builder pro and this is where i'm just going to create a basic uh, html template i'm not going to add a lot of fancy things like i can all i can add uh, things like logo uh, videos a bunch of other things but i want to avoid these things because i'm trying to send cold email if you're trying to send cold email do not put fancy things just keep it as simple as possible and here if you want to personalize this then you can use tags so hey and then you know i can personalize this by subscribers first name uh if you want to personalize your uh, subject line you can do that as well you can just take that put it inside your subject line so that your subject line can also be personalized all right so uh, right now we have this uh, over here now if i want to add more personalization i can choose it from here like the industry because we have created the industry so i saw you working in a email marketing industry right so i can put it like this or you work at a company so we can mention that company over here so we can very well personalize that email using these liquid tags or you can call it as macro now after we are done we can test it for mobile or you know tab from here once we are satisfied with the design that we have created we can click on save and close that's it so now after that after we have created this I'm going to click on next. I would recommend not to attach any uh, attachment if you're trying to send cold emails because most of the time Google look at it as a spammy thing. So I personally do not recommend putting any attachment if you are sending bulk emails. Now here, this is a uh, schedule. If you want to schedule it for any day, you can do that as well. And if you want to send email right now, then you can you know do it over here and if you want to personalize anything like subject then you you can always go back and you know do the personalization from here like we've just taken that first name hey instead of instead of there if i just want to put subscribers industry or subscribers first name i can do it from here but as of now i just want to keep it whatever it was earlier so uh, i'm just going to put yeah hey there and that's it 
save and I'll just quickly go to the confirm and then I can either preview everything from here so it is going to be changed to whatever is the name of the person when we send a test email so if I want to send a test email I can do it from here or I can just quickly start sending email right now so as you can see uh, it has started sending email and if I refresh this you can see we have already sent one email it has not sent the next email because we have kept our speed as one email per hour so it is just going to wait for the next hour to send the next email right so yeah that's how you ensure that you're not sending a lot of emails which is very important if you're sending a lot of email in just a very less span of hours or less span of minutes your emails will start landing in spam so what you need to do is you connect multiple sending servers and you distribute all your sendings uh, across different sending servers like you have seen here we have connected multiple gmail accounts and we have chosen all the gmail accounts to send email to this campaign so here we are rotating all our email accounts to send email to these guys so yeah, that's how you ensure that your emails are not landing in spam, which is very important. Now, all you need to do in, to scale your email campaign is get more email. And uh, once you have your email account ready, uh, just connect it with sendmails.io. If you want to send how much, 100 emails a day, then you can connect five emails. If you want to send more emails, if you want to send uh, 200 emails a day then you connect to uh, then you connect 10 emails right that's how it works you are just sending 24 emails a day do not go beyond that even if you have that limit even if you can send like 100 emails a day and that's how you ensure you have the best deliverability your emails are not getting suspended and your emails are landing in the recipient's primary inbox so that is it for today if you have any question even if you are putting your question after a year i will answer your question so make sure you first like this video share it with anyone uh, for whom you, it can be helpful and make sure to subscribe this channel because we are going to share a lot of email marketing cold email hacks over here and just drop your questions in the description below i'll be answering all the questions no matter you know how stupid it is or how uh, complex it is i will be answering all your concerns and questions so make sure to drop it down in the description below and i will see you in the next one Bye bye